possible agents to this special task force designed to investigate and apprehend the agents of Serpent. I'm Team Possible Agent Mark, 1027. I'm Agent Matt, 1926. We're the lead agents for the course of these investigations. Before we begin, we need to make sure that everyone present is an official Team Possible Agent. To do that, we're going to have you recite the official Team Possible passcode. When we say, with God, you will respond, All things are possible. Let's try that together now. With God, all things are possible. Excellent. Now, as some of you may know, the agents of Serpent are headed up by the mastermind, codenamed Satan. Satan has brought together a specialized team of devious agents whose specialties include doubt, distraction, and deception. After a thorough analysis of the facts, we believe that these evil agents are working right here in this area. And that's why we've come together for this special briefing. We've recently received information that there's a serpent agent operating the area. In fact, we know where her location is. And we're sending agents there now. While we await word from them, why don't we give you a brief rundown on what we do know about serpent agent codename Deception. There have been many agents over the course of time who have filled the role of deception. <clears throat> Satan makes sure that the position is filled because it gives the children of God so much trouble. The current agent filling the role of deception is going by the alias, I'm a liar! I'm a liar appears to be a sweet, grandmotherly-like person. But in reality, she's not. It's deceiving. Behind her unassuming exterior lies a devious mind. Ima's modus operandi, her method of working, is to make a person believe they're doing right when in fact they're doing wrong. Or she makes them think that they're doing wrong when they're doing right. Right is wrong, wrong is wrong. Ima gets people so turned around they're no longer able to tell right from wrong. They're no longer able to know what is truth. We need a method to combat deception. And we believe that we found it. Well, I've been studying the Team Possible Manual, the Bible, and I believe that there's a case that applies. Hold on, I think we're receiving a communication from Team Possible Headquarters. Let's take a look at our video communication. Hello, Dr. Ponzerball, this is Agents 1027 and 1926. Go ahead. Hello, Agent 1027 and 1926. This is Dr. Posey Ball. Message from Possible Headquarters. Over. Yes, go ahead. We have confirmation. We have discovered the front of Serpent Agent Deception. The suspect has fled the scene. Agents are in pursuit. Agent 00 is securing the site and awaiting your arrival. You are to bring your team with you to the site. Do you copy? Over. We copy, Dr. Ball. We'll code. Agents 1027 and 1926 act. Over. Well, team, let's head on over to the stop. Did we really need the siren? <laughs> I love that thing. <laughs> oh no, look. They've got Agent 00 securing the site. Oh. Agent 00 is a really nice guy, but it's a little clueless. Agent 00, sick rep, work quick! Yes, sir, yes, sir. <laughs> you guys know what a sit rep is? <laughs> What's a sit rep? Situation oh. report. They told us. Agent. They told us that back in the academy. Uh, situation report, sir. Uh, the suspect was here just a little bit ago, and agents arrived on the scene, and they fled out the, the back door, and they left me here to tape off the scene to make sure no one else gets in or out. 
And has there been any other activity since then? Uh, yes. Uh, no. Maybe, maybe. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yes. It was a yes or no question, Agent. What's got you so confused? Well, you see, there was this one sweet little old lady, and she brought me pie. Oh, she, she brought me And I love pie. And she pretty well convinced me that I didn't need to be here, because why would anybody want to run a, a operation out of a from the pastry shop? I mean, who does that? So I was about to pack it up and head back when you guys arrived. And she just left a minute ago. Didn't you see her? You didn't notice that this pie was rigged to explode? You were about to close a crime scene without orders from your commanding officer? Look, wait a minute. I know this looks bad. And it turns not to be at the academy, but really, who runs an operation out of a pastry shop? And I don't think this is a serpent fruit. I really don't. Oh, really? Then what is this? You know, this is starting to sound awfully familiar. An unknown person convinces you that what you're doing is wrong, even though you had orders from your commanding officer. And then they convinced you that something was right, that I'm pretty sure your commanding officer would say is wrong! <laughs> you know, it appears to me as though Agent 00 has been deceived! sure she was. Oh, no way, man. How on earth are we going to defend against that? Well, that's what we were just telling our new Team Possible agents. We think we may have found a solution. That's right. Let's refer her to the Team Possible Manual, the Bible. There's a case study in Acts. Case 9, 1.19, the road to Damascus. In this particular case, a man named Saul was deceived by Satan. He was led to believe that he was serving God by persecuting the Christians of the early church. As a matter of fact, he was putting Christians in prison as fast as he could catch them. Saul was on his way to Damascus to do just that when Jesus contacted him directly. Jesus was able to help Saul see through Satan's deceptions. But what's it got to do with me? <laughs> That's what we want you and these new Team Possible agents to discover. Secret Servants, your mission tonight is to discover how to combat deception. A Secret Servant mission and a coded message will be delivered to your offices at Team Possible Headquarters. Your office leader will give you instructions on how to decode the message. Please help us discover how to combat against the schemes of Serpent Agent Deception. And Agent 00? Yes, Agent 1926. I believe we will need to take that pie. We have to dispose of it. Why? I love pie. And it's like coconut cream. And it's tasty. It's like it's ticky. It's ticky. It's ticky. Yes. You better take this. Good idea. We've got a disposal squad right around the corner. And you and these agents need to head to team headquarters. Remember, with God.